Hello traders, Corey Mitchell here from TradeThatSwing.com. Today we're going to look at the best day trading time frame. This is not going to apply to everyone. This video is about finding the best day trading time frame for you. So let's jump right in, try to keep this video short. We can see the breakdown here of what time frames look like. And one of the main differences is the amount of detail. So I sometimes hear people make the mistake of saying, oh, the one minute chart is too volatile. That's not quite accurate because volatility is gonna to apply to, to all these time frames. Whether the, the price moves the same amount over you know a day, whether you're looking at the one minute chart or the 15 minute chart. What the difference is, and I think where people mix up the term volatility, is that one's a lot cleaner. So the 15 minute chart, you can see there's there's fewer price bars. This covers the same amount of time, these charts, yet you can see one is quite a bit different. So we can zoom in here. So these are covering the same amount of time from the start of the day till about nine, a little bit longer, 10 p.m. And we can see a lot of detail on the one minute chart. Each one of these little spike ups has you know a lot more detail on the one minute chart where it's a pretty clean reversal on the five minute and then it gets even more cleaned up on the 15 minute and so it really depends on how you want to be trading do you want to be just trading a big move that typically lasts you know a couple hours then you're going to be more looking at the 15 minute chart if you want to capture some of these shorter term price waves that are basically happening within or just these bigger price waves on the 15 minute, then you'd look to a five minute, you can pick up some shorter term trades. I, when I day trade, typically only use the one minute chart because I'm just looking to catch little explosions in movement and I like to only trade for an hour or two. So I wanna catch as many trades as possible. So as soon as a trend starts, I'm looking for these little pullbacks and I catch the next pop. Little pullback, catch the next pop. Little pullback, catch the next pop. I can't do that on a 15 minute chart because I don't have enough detail to do it. Once this goes, it's typically running for a while, then we get one pullback, then it runs for a while, we get a pullback, it runs for a while. So in a one hour period, I may only get one trade, whereas on a one minute chart on one minute chart look trading for an hour, I might get a lot. So you can see some of the, the differences here. Fewer trading opportunities, less erratic on the 15, trends look cleaner, might be easier to determine your entries. The one minute on the flip side, lots of detail, and you're gonna, you can potentially have lots of trading opportunities. And with leverage, especially in the Forex market, futures market, it, it doesn't really matter which one we choose. All have uh, great profit potential. So I've broken it down here on this chart. So you can see trade that swing, what time frame to use when day trading. Nice summary at the top here if you're looking for a just a quick breakdown of what each of the time frames is. <clears throat> so here's an example. This is a one minute chart. And we can see that lots of detail was able to take a few trades in this time frame. So two winners, one loser, and overall netted 3% uh, on the account for this day. And that's possible because of leverage and risk reward ratios. Now on a five minute time frame, if we look at the same window, I might have only been able to find two opportunities because this is just an example. Not sure if it's the same chart or not. But either way, we can see just a little bit less detail. So when I'm looking for the opportunities, as I said, I, I often like to trade in trends uh, or reversals. So here was a trend continuation. That one didn't work out. This one moves back down, starts to drop. A little push up there, tries to go, can't, and <clears throat> we get the drop. 
So I had about two opportunities uh, using a five minute chart. So a little bit less than, and if we looked at averages, I average about three trades a day on the one minute chart, trading about 1.5 hours. And I don't trade the five minute chart very often, but this would be my guess. I'd be probably in about half. So I'd be looking at about two, uh, one to two trades on a five minute chart. And 10 to 15 minute chart, if I was to trade a 15 minute chart for my one to two hours, some days I may not find any, some days I might find one. So this is 4.5 hours of trading and managed to get one trade. And we can see these trades last quite a bit longer. This one, you know, get in here, 15, you're at about an hour here. So you're holding that trade for about two hours or more. Whereas these other ones, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, decide to get out. This one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50 minutes. It's longer. These trades, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Very quick trades, yet the risk reward is the same. I can make the same amount trading the smaller chart by using leverage, and we'll talk about that in a second. So that's that's why I've opted to trade the one minute chart. It's just most efficient for me, but that's just me. If you really hate the look of all this price action and all the wiggles and <clears throat> you prefer these cleaner looking charts, then by all means trade the five or 15 minute. Ultimately, what matters is making money. So here we have a comparison of the different time trades. And like I said, I like to limit my day trading to about two hours. So on the one minute chart, you're gonna get the most trades in that two hours, just because you get to see a lot more movement, more trading opportunities. On the five minute, you're gonna get fewer. On a 10 or 15 minute chart, you're gonna get the least compared to the other ones. The pace, if you're trading a one minute chart, you have to be on it, you have to be watching. It takes <coughs> dedication to really stay on top of that price action because trades can be gone in a split second. And so you really need to be on it. Steady, I would say, is the pace for a five minute chart. Bars are forming over five minutes, so you have a little bit longer to process the data. When a bar is forming every minute, and you have to make trading decisions based on that, obviously your, your thought process and your thinking process has to be a little bit quicker. With a 15 minute chart, you just saw a big green bar, especially if you're waiting for price bars to complete. I sometimes do, I sometimes don't. That's up to you whether you want to or not. But then really, you, you don't have to make trading decisions as often because you have these usually bigger candles on the 15 minute chart. So you have more time to think through your process, how you want to trade. So it's a little bit more of a relaxed pace. Position size can be large because, as we discussed here, my stop loss might be two pips away. So I can risk, you decide how much you want to risk of your account. I opt to risk 1% of my account per trade. And I do that regardless of my position size. So if I'm trading a one minute chart, maybe this stop loss is two or three pips. I'm still gonna risk 1% of my account. That means I just increase my position size because my stop loss is so small. If I'm trading a 15 minute chart, this stop loss might be 10 pips. And I'm still gonna risk 1% of my account, but my position size is now gonna be smaller because my stop loss is bigger. So this is how that works. So position size is gonna be large. That means you're gonna, even small moves can potentially make you big money, but even a small move against you is gonna hit your stop loss and you're gonna lose that 1% or whatever you were risking. On a five minute chart, you're gonna have a position size that's a bit smaller than the one minute chart. And the 15 minute chart, you're gonna have the smallest stop loss size compared, or position size compared to these other ones. Drain on capital. So a one minute chart, you could be plowing, since we're risking 1% of our account with a tight stop loss, 
we could be putting all our capital plus more, including leverage, into that one trade. Whereas if we use a 15 minute chart, we may only put a portion of our capital into that trade or because that stop loss is bigger, we just we don't have as large a position size. If we have a smaller position size, that's obviously going to cost us less capital. Focus, uh, I kind of touched on when we were talking about pace. The more constant the pace, the higher the turnover of the candles, the quicker they form. Obviously, the more focused you have to be. On a 10 or 15 minute chart, it's more a relaxed style of trading. So this is where that personal element comes in. You may like the idea of you know trading big position sizes on small stop losses, with, which means if you have a nice risk reward, you're risking two pips. If you can make five pips, you just made two and a half percent on your account very quickly within a few minutes. But that may sound nice, but if you are the type of person who does not like high stress, constant pace, uh, brain going for a full two hours, then the one minute chart might not be your best choice. The 15 minute might be your best choice and then you just find ways to increase your returns, increase your trades using that 10 or 15 minute chart. Some options for that is when I'm trading a one minute chart, I'm typically only trading one thing. I'm trading the Euro USD when I'm trading Forex. If I'm trading stocks, I might look at two, maybe three, sometimes four stocks, but usually I'm narrowed down to three, like by the start of the day. And then I'm looking for that one setup and I can pretty much only handle one of those at a time. So it's, I might get into one um, and you're really having to like juggle your time with those positions. If you're trading a 15 minute chart, there's, like I said, those, those candles take a lot more time to form. Those candles are your information packets that you're going to base your trading on. So you have, you could potentially trade more things at the same time. So that's one way that you could potentially compensate and use more of your capital because uh, we have the least drain on capital with a 15 minute chart. It's also the most relaxed pace and we're gonna have the least trades, which means maybe you look at four or five pairs when you're trading Forex. Maybe you watch six or seven stocks and that way you can increase your number of trades, increase your overall returns, but you are trading based on your own mental mind frame and how you like to trade. So if you're if you like keeping this more relaxed pace, then stick to the 10 or 15 minute chart and maybe just, just add in a few more charts. Capital requirements. This will vary a little bit by market, but typically you are gonna have the least amount of capital required if you're trading a one minute chart. And that's simply because your stop loss is small so you could start with a, a small account and 1% of that account will be a small amount of money and you can probably find trades that easily have a very small stop loss. You can control your risk really well. Five minute, the candles are gonna be a little bit bigger, which means you're gonna have a little bit bigger stop loss, which means to risk 1% of your account, you're gonna need to have a little bit more money to compensate for that bigger stop loss. Big stop losses on a 10 or 15 minute chart, and I mean big compared to a one minute chart, then that stop loss is gonna be bigger, as shown here, compared to here. So since that stop loss is bigger, and in each market there's you know usually minimums you have to trade in 4X, you, the, the smallest amount you can buy is a thousand units or a micro lot. So in order to risk 1% of your account with a bigger stop loss, you will need a little bit bigger account. Now in stocks, it's a little different because when you're day trading, if you're in the US, you need $25,000 to start anyway. So pretty much no matter what you're day trading, your minimum capital requirement is the same. If you're trading futures or Forex, then this is more applicable. 
because you don't need to have a certain amount of money in your account, but the smaller your stop losses are, generally the less capital you will need in your account. You can always add in multiple time frames. You might look at, I can click on that one. I have to go in and change that. So here's a one hour chart. You can see the overall trend, and then you might look at, okay, what's the overall trend on the hourly, and then drop down to a five minute, 15 minute, one minute chart for your entries. So there are always lots of options for what your best day trading time frame is. It's not a one size fits all for everybody. Pick what works best for you. You can see the breakdown, how it works here. And, and don't just think about what's gonna make you the most money because if you cannot keep your mind in the game or you don't like trading a certain way, you are not gonna do well no matter what. So think first about what type of person you are, ideally what your ideal trading day looks like. For me, I really like just sitting down for an hour and just kind of going hard, hitting my keys, looking for lots of trades. That That's what I enjoy doing. Uh, but that's not all the time. There, there are times when, you know, maybe life's a little more hectic outside of trading and I want to scale back my trading. That's when I'll usually focus more on swing trading and maybe I'll look even at like an hourly chart or a daily chart and just focus on those and the one minute chart gets pushed aside. It's a little bit too stressful for me at that time. So consider your mental state, your, your personality, all of that, and then work from there and decide which time frame is best for you. And for some people it might be combining time frames. So I hope that gives you a good summary of what the best uh, day trading time frame is. As I said, not one that's best for everybody. It's finding what is best for you. So until next time, happy trading.